Hey guys, welcome to this video. In this video, I wanna to talk to you about pricing and are you pricing your product right? So before we get into the video, please consider clicking that subscribe button down below and hitting the bell notification so you know when I upload new videos. And let's get right into it. So there are three different um, ways you can price your product. Well, there's lots of different ways you can price your product, but there are three different main ways which I'm gonna talk about today. So I'm gonna start with the break-even strategy, and that is when um, you have your product on Amazon and you price it at your your um, your co your cost price. So let's say your pro product is a wallet. Okay, with wallet because we always use the wallet as an example. Let's say your product is a wallet, and um, it costs you four pounds to make, and the total cost is about five pounds, including shipping and everything and Amazon fees. So oh my arm is starting to hurt. So your break-even price, your break-even cost would be five pounds. So what you do is you'll sell it on Amazon for five pounds. Now, the benefit of this is that it is incredibly cheap. You'll be the cheapest on Amazon for your product because I'm assuming it's a good quality product if it's costing you five pounds. And, um, and what this will allow is this will allow you to get a ton of sales at break-even cost. So it's not actually costing you anything, um, but it will allow you to get a ton of sales, way more than your competition, and you'll shoot up the ranks. So that's one pricing strategy and this, this pricing strategy is really good for building up your rank. The next is charging the most, so having the most expensive product on Amazon. The next is having the most expensive item on Amazon. So if everyone's wallets are about £10 and you put yours at £25, um, that could do one of two things. One, it, you could get no traffic, no sales, nothing. Or two, people will click your product thinking, wow, why is this one £25 over all the other ones? So. Um, so yeah, so what it could do is you could get a lot more traffic because people are wondering why your price is 25 pounds, what's different with your product, but it could also backfire, so you could test that. And the next is just charging the same as everyone else. So if everyone's charging about 13 pounds, then you can charge about 30, 12, 13 pounds, 14 pounds. The only thing I can suggest is that um, you test this. And how long do you test this for? Well, I recommend testing between three and five days of any given price. And what are you looking for in this test? Well, you're looking for conversion rates. And um, you're looking for traffic. So what does that mean? So that means on Amazon, you can go into the report and you can see how many clicks your product got and what the conversion rate between clicks and sales was. So the reason this is good is if you charge way too much for a product, you're, you might see that you have less clicks to your product page. And if you charge very, very cheap for your product, then you'll see you have a lot more clicks. So that's why the next most important thing is the conversion rate. You wanna see what the conversion is of people visiting your page and actually buying. Um, we like to go for a conversion rate anywhere between like 50 and 70 percent because that's really really good that's what we aim for um, so test out a few different prices higher lower and see which one gets a good amount of traffic and a good conversion rate and don't remember there's nothing wrong with charging a higher price people will just think your product has this perceived value that is pretty good so that is it for pricing thank you so much for watching this video my arm is really really starting to hurt so i can't keep videoing um, but hopefully I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Please give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment below what you think and I'll see you in tomorrow's video.